It's going to be down to keeping Wilfred Zaha and trying to bring in one or two other players. The defence, not the best. They haven't really replaced uh, Wambi Saka, to be honest. But anyway, out of the club, they've got rid of, I don't know any of these, if I'm being honest. Jason Lakilo to Don Castro on a free. Stephen Henderson, Stephen Henderson, Stephen Henderson, which was just released. And Ryan Innes was just released. So, haven't really got rid of anyone substantial, which is a good thing they've brought in one or two players ok fair enough decent they've only spent 20 million so I don't know what their, what their budget is going to be like or how much it would have affected it but again I'm going to rate it about a, a, a 2 or 3 out of 10 sorry I've got, I've got, I've got someone coming to pick up some stuff where he's driving a mile like, like, like a 2 hour drive to come pick up some stuff so Anyway, yeah, uh, it's not the best. Moving on, we have who I would agree has the second best transfer window. Now, Brighton have done well. I did say they've had one of the most underrated ones. I think Chelsea have had the best, personally, investing in the key areas that we need to. Everton have got the second best. They've also spent a lot, don't get me wrong. They've got rid of Morgan Schneider for two million pounds. It's, it's a little bit on the cheap side, I'm not going to lie. Umar Nias has been released. That frees up some wages. Leighton Baines has retired. Again, frees up some wages. Martin Stecklenberg has got to Ajax on a free transfer. Fair enough. And Sadie Bay has gone back to Monaco as it was the end of his loan. So, out of the club, he freed up a big wage budget there. Um, but nothing substantial in terms of transfer and money. But they have gone big. Fairness, you could argue that maybe if I don't know, you could argue that any one of these first three could potentially be 40 to 60 million pounds worth of players. I think every single person on this list is an absolute bargain. 
Allen from Napoli. 22. Let me turn this up. Sorry. Now I'm going to leave it for this first one. Uh, 22.5 million for Allen. You know, Allen won, won, won that trophy that you can see there. For Napoli. Allen is in. He's been sick on FIFA for the past however many years. He's a really good baller. He's just an absolute dominant midfielder. That guy, they bought him for 22.5 billion, which is a steal. James Rodriguez, boys, James. Now, a lot of, uh, for 22 million, I think that's very good. For 30, 40 million, I'd have thought that was a bit of a waste of money because he hasn't really been putting in the effort. So, thinking, like, backtracking on that, I think 22 is a fair enough fee. Given the first game that he had, that looks like a steal. Again, it's like, I initially thought that's a bargain. Then when I really put it into perspective and thought he actually hasn't had the best performances, he's, he's fallen out of favour with a few managers. I, I don't know what to think. Given his first game that I watched, wow, wee boys. He's looking as sharp as a fucking razor blade fam. Him and Alan linking up was insane. Then Ducore, arguably one of the better CDMs of last year, unfortunately got relegated with Watford and manages to come to Everton for 20 million that's insane they've also brought in this Niels Nkunku 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 it's like that it's this too many OUs this is this too many like this N-K-O-U there's only four letters in his name and there's eight letters in total it's it's all jumbled you know what I mean from Marseille but they only paid 250,000 for him so I assume like an under 19 under 23's player I think only spending 62 million for three solid and I'm talking all of them go straight into the first team I think that's an absolute steal so and moving forward we have Fulham 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 who have done okay they've done okay I'm hoping I updated this right they have a sign Anthony Robinson from a team that just doesn't exist, does it? From Wigan. Wigan. I don't know why I've put an end there. I thought 2 million. Fair enough, it's only Wigan. Anthony Knockout from Brighton for 10 million. Not entirely sure what to think about that. I'm not the biggest Knockout fan, if I'm being honest. Mario Lamina from Southampton. I quite like that geese. They've got him on loan. Harrison Reed from Southampton for 6 million. 6 million. I think that's a fair. A fair judgment. Now, one that surprised me, and I had no idea about it until I read it again yesterday. Alphonse Ariola, Mr. Nipple himself, from PSG, on loan. He's gone from being PSG's backup goalkeeper to Fulham's goalkeeper. That's great. That's great for Fulham. I think he's a great, great keeper. They've then gone and signed Kenny Tete. He's a very, very decent up and coming footballer for 3 million from Leon. My eyes gone fuzzy, sorry. And then Ola Aina, who Chelsea had, we sold him to Torino. He's now come back to the Premier League on loan for Fulham. So, all in all, they've bought four players and they've brought in three, they've brought in three players on loan. They've spent a combined total of 21 million. That's it, 21 million. And they've brought in a youngster from Wigan. I assume he's a youngster. Anthony Knockhart is okay, fair enough, as much as I might not like him and I don't think he's that good. He is an experienced player. A good up and coming youngster, Harrison Reed from Southampton, and Kenny Tese from Leon. All great players, strengthen the areas that they needed to. They've then brought in three players on loan who are, I would say, of quality. I like Ola Aina. I think he's great. Ariola is incredible. Lamina's good. They've got rid of Luke de la Torre. <laughs> Luke de la Torre. Uh, Eric Lees uh, on a free transfer. And then Alfie Mawson's gone to Bristol City on loan. Both of them, I'm not too sure who they are. So, not too bad. Not the best. I rate about a 7 out of 10. You know, they've, they've, they've brought in well. They've brought in cheap. They haven't spent too much. And I think that's, that's a good sign. Next, we have Leeds, 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 Leeds. Rodrigo from Valencia for 27 million. I think that's a little bit expensive given the fact that we've seen a few other players. Like, if you really deep it, I 
Robert Rodriguez cost 20 million. 22 million. Alan cost 22 million. Decore 20 million. You're paying an extra 5 to 7 million for Rodrigo, who had a worse goal scoring record than Patrick Bamford last season. But, but, that's not to say he won't be very good. Because I think he will be very good. Now, Helder Costa, Helder Costa, Helder Costa, Helder Costa has signed on a permanent deal. He was there last season. I know because I've been doing the Leeds career mode on uh, Football Manager. Um, and we're doing fantastically well, my heard. I'm proud of myself. Um, for 16 million, I think that's fair. Dave's like, well, I watched this game when they played Liverpool. Bearing in mind, I watched the game and it was insane. Leeds, I've tipped for a top half finish. I think they're going to continue. And as long as they play how they did, it's insane. So, they've signed this guy. And the commentators, at the start of the game, they were saying Robin Koch from Freiburg. And then one of the commentators said to Jamie Carragher, you mean Koch? <laughs> Robin Koch. <laughs> Koch. <laughs> and then Jamie Carragher said, well, that's a little bit phlegmy, isn't it? And then the other co- uh, whoever the other commentator was, was like, well, I'm sure you've got no problem with that being scarce. And I thought that was a funny running joke. So. Robin Koch from Freiburg on, I'd say, I'm going to say 12 million. Just to stop being pedantic. Um, I, he looked very, very good. If I'm being totally honest, I quite liked the look of him when he was playing. They've signed Jack Harrison from Man City on loan, who I signed on loan. I signed him on loan in the 20 to 21 season. Yeah, on Football Manager, what are the odds? I'm, I'm smart. I didn't, however, sign Ilan Meslier because he wasn't very good. Um, but I'm, he's tipped to be the like he, he's taken over. Uh, Kiko Casilla, is it Kiko Casilla? Yeah, it's Kiko Casilla, isn't it? Um, I've got rid of him on Football Manager. He went. Um, Mesley is tipped to be the next person. He's, he's just going to go straight to the first team and play more games. So, hopefully. You never know. We might see that. Um, so, a total... Con- they've, they've got rid of no one. No one's left. Which, usually I'd say they need to free up some transfer funds or something along those lines. But, with the team that they've got, I'm quite happy they haven't got rid of anyone. There's a few good players coming through. And the fact they kept hold of Calvin Phillips, uh, who's in the middle, is it Kalish? And, I don't know, a few of the other players. Uh, Shackleton, uh, Douglas, and who are they? Rob Ailing, is it right back? Might be left back. Um, obviously, Ben White did leave to go back to Brighton. I should have mentioned that. Who have they signed at centre back? Is that Robin Koch at centre back? Probably is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't paying that much attention, but 60.7 million, I don't think is the worst. We've seen Everton spend 60 million. Chelsea have spent fuck knows how much. Um, we're spending more on that goalkeeper that might be coming in. So, all in all, I think that's solid. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Definitely, definitely improved in the areas they wanted to. Brought in Alder Costa on a permanent. Jack Harrison to improve some areas. Meslier in goal. Go straight to the first team. And if you really think about it, for a first team goalkeeper, six million's a bit of a steal. Um, Robin Koch, yeah, twelve million's fine. Like I say, they have spent sixty million pounds, and when you think about it, that's a lot. But they've brought in five solid players. You can't, you can't hate on it. And last but not least, Crystal Palace, Everton. Oh, Crystal Palace, Everton, Fulham, Leeds. Yeah. Last but not least, Leicester City. Haven't really done that much, but I rate it. They have let Ben Chilwell go for 45 million to Chelsea. I'm happy with that. I know that a lot of Leicester fans are happy with that. So it's a win win. 45 million is a decent fee for him. They've also let go Calvin Basie, Bassi to Rangers on a free transfer. Don't know who that is, probably not very good. And they've gone and signed Timothy Castagna from Atalanta. Now, Atalanta had a very good season last season. So, fair play to them. From what I know, he can play left mid, left wing, left back. So, I assume he's going to fill that left wing back role for Ben Chilwell. Uh, I think a lot of people, that's what they told me when I spoke to a few people about this. And so, fair enough. Leicester have this big thing of building players up and letting them go for huge fees and you know recouping a lot of the profit exactly what we've seen again net spend of minus 
has 23.5 million, which means they've made 23.5 million. And they've let go of a player and brought in another player. Let's just hope that Castagna can have a good, good season ahead of him. Um, fills that void that Benji will left quite well. I am a big Leicester City fan. I do like them. And, you know, I hope they do well. So I'll probably raise it about... I'll probably f I'm going to rate it a 5 out of 10. They haven't strengthened many areas. They still haven't brought in a striker, which I'm quite surprised at. Like Jamie Vardy, he's great. Don't get me wrong, I do like him a lot. And he is. He, he deserves to have quite a big title put on his name. But he's only got a few years left. He can't keep up. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Okay.